Excuse me, but I have to beg your pardon. Something strange is growing in my garden. Tomato, tomato, tomato time, time for tomato. 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 Tomato, 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 tomato time, time for tomato. I'm your host Shane, and this is actually a special edition of the show. I'm here with two stars, the only two stars, of Real Men Can Hunt. This is Mr. Moy Gentry, and this is Mr. Bentley Jones. Now, we've got a few, a few video clips. They brought them by uh, for the show, and we're going to talk about them. Uh, go, ahead and introduce the, go ahead and introduce the first one. Well, even though we are hunters yeah. of the foodist canis, apparatus. We wanted to let people know that we also appreciate their role in nature. And here is a clip where uh, we show you just how much that means to us. Because, wait, they're, they're all about preservation. They're saving the young yes. so they can grow yes. old and be, and be shot. We're, We're like the engines. Yeah. Like the engines. We're like the engines. Well, well that would be reservation. What? Well, no, we don't, we don't reserve them. Oh. Yeah. We don't call Freezer, it. not reaser. We appreciate the preservation of this species. I mean, don't mean we ain't afraid to kill them, but we do respect their uh, position in nature. And uh, here's a clip to show that. Now that's how I took down a 40 gallon drum in the Sahara Desert with nothing but a toothpick and a Waffle House menu. But, uh, oh, look at this, hold on. Now this, this is a rare sight. Very few times you come across this in a lifetime. It was babies. I tell you what, man, I have seen puppies, I have seen kittens, but I have never seen anything as cute as a spam. Like, look at them. No, man, don't touch them. You touch them, the mama, mama won't take them back. And she'll just, she'll just throw them out, in the, out the nest, and uh, it'll just rust, and the, the, the meat don't get all rotten. I ain't good for nobody. In fact, she might be around. Yeah, well, that was pretty dangerous, and I uh, almost thought about getting a stunt man in for that. But uh, I tell you one thing, we almost had an incident earlier. Oh, oh, is that what happened to your foot? Yeah, here, here's a clip for that. What is it, boy? There's a can. It's nearby. Where? Over there, somewhere. Right there. Yeah. No, boy, that's a gas can. Boy, you. Whoa, that must be fattening because that was really, really rich. Yeah, it hurts to watch it. Yeah, you, you guys apparently have had your problems on, on set, uh, you know, physical problems, but also I heard that you've had interpersonal problems. Uh, isn't it true, Bentley, that uh, you one time tried to replace Mr. Moy Gentry with another co-host? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I think you do know what we're talking about, and uh, we have our own clips to prove it. Here you go. Welcome to Real Men Can Hunt. Real Men Can and Real Men Do. I'm your host, Bentley Jones, and this here is my new co-host, My Gun! <laughs> Oosted Amsterdam. Now, sometimes we call him Uzi, other times we call him Stead. Sometimes we don't call him at all, because he can't hear, he can't hear a little bit, as you can tell. Hello! Nothing. He can't. It's got nothing. Yep. There you go. Now, today, we're going to hey, take man, you... Hey, man. I'm sorry. I'm late. What? There's two people here. Moy. Bentley, there's... There, I'm Moy. not here. There one, there's three now. It's not what it feels like, Moy. Oh. Moy! Moy! I love you! Honestly, that was a really sad oh. clip. Um, 
Mortal Kombat. I haven't seen anything like no, that since the so. uh, tragic. Uh, Sound of my voice. Uh, there you go. I'll do this. Uh, fight. I told you I'm sorry. It was painful. Probably more painful than your foot. Who do you think you are bringing that kind of stuff on the show? We have, we, you know, we've gotten over our, our, our speed bumps. It wasn't, you know, it we wasn't was a therapy. Choice. It wasn't easy. That I, wasn't wasn't, a speed I don't even bump. know how to spell therapy. That was therapy. a brick wall. That was a brick wall. Look, probably. yo, I said I'd do this. Y'all need to calm down. Let's just get on with the show. One more of these and I'm gone. Well, look, apparently this interview has turned into a uh, all about acceptance sort of thing. Um, you were unable to accept Bentley back, uh, but I think we've gotten over that. But a lot of people can't accept your show. Um, you, you have a lot of protesters uh, that have been you know, voicing their opinions. I personally don't like the show because I don't see why they don't have to just eat real vegetables and real deer. Because when I think that it had a label once, I just can't deal with that, because then I just picture the label as I'm cutting into the spam I think they're big fans of hunting, and I just think it's wrong. Well, frankly, I don't understand why they've got to hunt cans. I mean, there's plenty of animals out there, and I'm not talking about deer. I'm talking about puppies. I'm talking about people's house cats, parakeets, anything like that. Those things are just sitting around not doing anything. Why not shoot that? If those people were cans, I would hunt them down and shoot them. If I wasn't afraid of guns as much as I was, I'd shoot them too. Bang, bang, dead. Uh, Moy, while you were pointing, uh, I noticed that on your fingers you had some band-aids. So I just yeah. go ahead and get through with this before we go on any further. Uh, what, what caused that? I've just been doing a lot of reading lately. Okay, I've been doing a lot of reading with those fingers. Yeah, exactly. All right, back to the shooting, though. Uh, the controversy that we were able to point out with this uh, clip from the protesters that controversy is not the only controversy that you run into. Uh, what's this about a about an incident with a can and a string? Look at this. There's no denying it. Play it back. Watch closely. String attached to the top. That is horse manure right there, sir. Look, that that is not only horse. It's cream corn manure, and I've seen it. And it's it. I'm the best shot in this room. I believe it. I believe it. We brought a clip with us of a, of, a, of a show that they're doing. Yeah, it's it's from the E Entertainment Network, uh, from True Public Access Stories. It's a little video montage. No, no, no. Heard it. Heard it. Yeah. Uh, heard it. Man, there ain't nothing new. Bentley, where oh, are you? Oh, sweet! Where? What? Gregory Hunt's tap! Folks at home don't think you're as good as a shot as I keep telling them. Man. That's just crazy. Now they see you shoot and they see the cans fall down, but they want proof. Here, there, there, there. Does anybody in the audience have a dime? Wait, I think I have a dime. As you can see, this is an ordinary dime. Ten cents of U.S. government currency. I shall throw it up in the air. And more. Wait, wait. I got it. I got a smell. All right. Moy will shoot this down. Did I get it? Here you go, Moy. Right in the middle. All right. Two nickels. Sweet. Hey, that's a. That's 2004. I need one of them. Here, you can have the other one. All right. Thanks. It looked like you were a good shot in that video, Moy, but honestly, I'm not going to believe it until I see it. You want to see it? 
Well, I mean, that's right what now? I want to believe it, so I need to see it. All right, man, I can Stand do it. still. Don't move. Wait a minute. <laughs> man, I told you I was the best shot. I'm out of here. Got to go to a Lions Club meeting. All right, boy, see you later. I won't see you, but <laughs> I'll smell you. <laughs> i tell you what, that boy is a card. How did he do that? <laughs> Shane, Shane. Well, that's all the time we got today on Sup on the Goodness. Real men can and real men do. Remember, kids, eat your greens, and we'll see you later. Does anybody know the way to Nutmeg Alley? Um, hello, and uh, welcome to Nutmeg Alley. Before I go any further, I'd like to take a moment to apologize to anyone that I might have offended in the previous episode when I made a meal out of a little kid named Billy. I'd like to point out that I am a bear and I cannot be held to the same moral standards as a human being. So, uh, hope you enjoy the show. Good morning, everyone. What's up, Waddy? Oh, nothing much. Isn't it a lovely day? Beautiful. Hey, uh, shouldn't you be at work or something? No, no, no. I, I'm unemployed now. Well, we are in a recession. True, true. But at least I've got a lot more time to practice my guitar. You play guitar? No kidding. I play bass. And I'm pretty good on the keyboards if I do say so myself. That ain't all you good at, baby. Mm -mm. That's a fine woman. Hey, uh, maybe we should get together and jam sometime. Hey, I know a fellow that plays the drums. What a great idea. We could start our own band. Does anybody know the way to Nutmeg Alley? Does anybody know the way to Nutmeg Alley? I'm serious, I have no sense of direction. Does anybody know the way to Nutmeg Alley? I'm serious, I guess I, I have, have no sense of direction. make such lovely music. It cheers me up. It almost makes me forget about losing little Billy. Billy, we hardly knew you. You were so young. You were so wild. It's not fair when a bear consumes your child. Billy, we hardly knew you, you were so young, you were so wild, it's not fair when a bear consumes your child. Hey, yeah, uh, why don't we do that song, you know, the one that me and Fred wrote about nutmeg? You wrote a song about nutmeg? Oh, yes, dear. And it's a lovely tune. 
It's all about grinding it up, using it as a spice. Well, we can play it for it right now. I've got a better idea. Let's go up on the roof and play it for everyone to hear. My nutmeg is ground. My nutmeg is ground. My nutmeg is ground. My nutmeg is ground. And when I'm trying to season all of my pastry. Makes them tasty. Yes, it does. I guess nobody ever really made me nutmeg gravy. I wish they would. Nutmeg is ground. Nutmeg is ground. Nutmeg is ground. Nutmeg is ground. everybody we love you nutmeg alley see you next time boys and girls i'm just happy to be here